Hey, what's up guys? Vega here from Serpent X Special Forces and I wanted to talk to you today about the RT AX88U from ASUS. I upgraded to this router from the RT N66U uh, Dark Knight router, also from ASUS, because my internal network couldn't handle the load anymore. What I mean by that is recently because of this quarantine, everybody's at home, ISPs are getting strained, and we're using a lot of bandwidth. Now it's nice that they increased data cap limits or removed it all together, depending on your internet service provider. But if your internal network can't handle it, working from home can be a strain, which is why I upgraded to this. So in this video, I wanna talk about a couple features of this particular router, give you some performance information on some graphs, and then wrap up with my final thoughts. So we're gonna switch over to the computer and go over a couple of key features on this router and then go from there. So depending on the vendor, this router goes by two names, either the AX88U or the AX6000. They're the same thing. They're dual band Wi-Fi 6 802.11ax gaming router that has the technology such as MU, MIMO, and OFDMA. Now, what that means is the previous generation of rout routers can only um, handle one device at a time on each network channel, which is inefficient. The new one divides each channel into small subchannels, allowing signals from multiple devices to be bundled together and transmitted simultaneously, reducing latency for smoother, more responsive Wi-Fi experience. So it can do more things at once rather than having to wait one at a time. Now the GUI for the router is pretty much everything that we've seen before with ASUS type devices, but you got a couple little perks like AI protection, handled by Trend Micro, WTF Fast, Game Boost, all that kind of good stuff. More importantly for me was the number of LAN ports, which we have eight uh, gigabit uh, LAN ports, one WAN. Uh, we have increased coverage because the wireless uh, capabilities of this device, plus instead of three antennas with the old router, I have four. And I can control and maintain everybody on the network. What I mean by that is parental controls. So I can lock down the number of websites that the boys go to, blacklist, whitelist, whatever it is, and I can set a time requirement. So they can only have Wi-Fi from this time to this time. Another good thing is, is that on the front of this router, there's two buttons. If you look right here, there's two buttons on the right hand side. Now the router's in my room and there's LEDs on the front and they blink white. So the left button on the front right here is the LED button, which you can hit that to turn off the lights. So now the lights aren't blinking you know, in my eye, even though the bed's quite a distance away, it can still be annoying. So I could turn that off. But the other button on the right is the Wi-Fi button. That's useful for me because say for example, it's dinner time and the boys need to come eat, but they instead want to continue to play games. Well, I can go ahead and hit that button and that disables the Wi-Fi. Now that won't interrupt me because the Nvidia Shield TV and my desktop are connected through ethernet, not through Wi-Fi. So I can continue to stream and do what I need to uh, while the boys are limited and kind of force them into doing their chores or whatever else it may be. So I got increased uh, LAN capability. So I got more LAN ports. I got increased coverage. And I increased it even further because AI mesh. Now, even though the new router has AI mesh and the old one does not, uh, what I did is I took the old router and I kind of made it a, uh, an extender, so to speak. So my coverage now goes from the back porch to my, a little bit past my garage. So now I can work in my car, uh, watch, stream video, stream music, whatever it may be with no interruptions and no uh, issues with buffering and whatnot. So I'm meeting all the requirements for me, but you definitely want to do your own research to make sure it meets the requirements for yourself. I also wanted to future proof it so when I got devices that are Wi-Fi 6 compatible, I was good to go. Now the only Wi-Fi 6 compatible device that I have on me is my laptop. I upgraded the wireless card uh, in it and in the graphs you will see the difference between the Wi-Fi 6 adapter and the Wi-Fi 5 adapter on my laptop. Speaking of which, let's go ahead and get into the graphs, the data and the information and I'll wrap up with my final thoughts.
guys. So there's the data that I was talking about. This router is a mark improvement over the original router that I had. It has done a great job over the years, but it was time to upgrade. You can see all the network standards that it supports, uh, the data rates that it uh, projects or shows. You know, for example, 802.11 AC, uh, 1024 QAM up to 4333 megabytes per second and then we have 802.11 AX up to 4804 megabytes per second on the 5 gigahertz channel or 2.4 gigahertz gives us 1148 megabytes per second. The extra LAN ports help me out for my NAS, uh, for any uh, network attached storage, any other devices. I have cabling ran throughout the house for each of my boys rooms so when we do decide they have earned a computer we can build them a new computer and they have ethernet capabilities to connect and uh, be connected to the network rather than connect over Wi-Fi so I want to get a wireless card but most motherboards have them anyways and the security is essential uh, I've been using ASUS routers for a while uh, obviously and parental controls is a big thing uh, QS is a big thing and with the uh, AI protection that just an added layer of protection for our internal network and you can also if you're an advanced user you can also configure it for VPN uh, and whatever other features you want there's Alexa and um, you know IFTTT however you want to set it up this ASUS router can do it so I hope you got some useful information out of this video like share subscribe and comment below let me know your thoughts and I am good to go once I get an upgrade to my phone or my wife upgrades her phone that's uh, Wi-Fi 6 compatible. We won't have to worry about it. Future proof in the house. Hope you guys have a good one. Stay safe. Stay healthy. I'll see you in the next time.